Today we will be taking a look at something that was provided to me as part of some excellent customer service because the item that is inside this box has already been featured on this channel and it will be the second time I show it. Let's unbox and see what's inside. This comes all the way from the United States. And it's a box in a box. Aha! Awesome. Once again, reunited with an old friend. I think we need to do a quick a white balance. Oh, it's even better, I think. And the first one I had. And this is my second because the first one I had actually died on me. I'm not sure what happened. I, I kind of did expect maybe some foul play from one of my original Molam keyboards, but I'm not sure. The investigation is still pending, but I got to say that Unicom provided me with some excellent customer service in this case, sending me this uh, new model so that I could continue using a uh, Model M, a Mini M as my daily driver because I used it a lot and got really used to uh, this being my sort of daily driver keyboard so I think it will be great to give this a quick little test uh, see how it functions I also saw that under the other video which surprisingly did very well and got more views than this mini retro amateur channel is used to. Uh, what it's like to game on this keyboard. And actually I'm not really sure what it will be like to game on this uh, keyboard. Because to be honest I'm not really a keyboard gamer. Always when I game I tend to use a controller. Um, but maybe you can give it a go. I'm a Mac user so I'll have to figure out how I can find a game that is suitable for... Um, uh, for play so I'll probably have to use my uh, Intel Nook that I use for my Windows programs uh, and I have one game on that I believe now just for some nostalgia I installed uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 to that mini PC but maybe we can install a light piece of uh, shooting software to test out this lovely keyboard While my previous Mini M was out of service, I used two different keyboards. This uh, Corsair, I believe, K63, which is even missing one of the keys because these knock off pretty easily, which I found a bit annoying about this keyboard. But anyways, it, it, it's, it's a normal keyboard to, to type on. And an other keyboard that I used while the Mini M was out of service was this sort of generic keyboards I got from Amazon which was also very nice to type on and has a nice sound and what I really love and appreciate about a keyboard is when the form factor is in such a way that it has a really small footprint but still the keys are nicely accessible and I gotta say that although this keyboard looks very cramped it's very nice to use quick size comparison got to say that when I take a second look at this keyboard that the lettering on the keys is actually really crisp because I saw in some other videos that people were complaining about the lettering on the on the on the keys being maybe a bit vague because they were using old molds uh, from of course IBM but these keys 
look much better. On the first video that I made about uh, the Mini M, someone commented that you could do something uh, that sounded really interesting and something you could do if, for instance, you have a broken Model M keyboard. This one is not broken, but they commented that you could take out a keycap from uh, a Model M and replace it with the one in your Mini M for having an even more realistic uh, typing experience, a more uh, legit Model M. And of course, if you clean the keys really well, because I gotta say that the ones on this Model M are a bit grimy, uh, you can have actual Model M keycaps on this Mini M. And it's gonna be a way cheaper way of having an actual uh, space saving version of the Molem as we all know those sell for fortunes uh, right now and they rarely show up on the my favorite hunting grounds I've I think I've seen them once or twice on the Dutch version of eBay these Unicom keyboards are closely uh, related to IBM because they stem from IBM because they're Molem factories I think the people from Unicom used to work at IBM and they bought the rights for the Model M keyboards and started to produce them under their own name makes me want to show off something else that I recently got from my friend Renske something she painted for me and it looks absolutely amazing something I wanted for a while was a painting of an actual IBM 5150 and as you can see I'll put a picture up on the video of what picture she tried to duplicate on in this painting you can see that she got the details really good and must be a hell to paint a keyboard but still it looks awesome I think and it's hanging proudly on my wall really happy with this painting I cannot stress what a, a terrible gamer I am but I have to say that the mini M is suitable for my kind of gaming and that's the one that involves either a joystick or not a lot of skill. Like in my previous video, I almost forgot to mention that the lights, of course, on this Mini M is blue. They are blue. So I'm really happy that I finally have a Mini M again that I, for instance, can use to edit this video. I want to thank Unicom for the excellent customer service they provided me for getting me this replacement keyboard. And I want to thank you for watching this video.